Kia ora everyone, welcome to our May Favourites video. Today we're going to be talking about fashion and a little bit of beauty and just a little bit of everything. So yeah. Woo! So last month I kind of talked about my favourite makeup item and it hasn't really changed. So I decided to branch out into another department and talk about my favourite perfume. Um, this is the DKNY My New York Perfume. And I can't describe the scent because that's just way too hard. Just go smell it or Google it yourselves. But do you want to try? Science. It smells good. It smells good. <laughs> so my beauty favorite for this month is actually an eye look. And this month my girl crush on Elizabeth Olsen hit an all-time high. Resaw Avengers. She plays Wanda Maximoff in the new Avengers movie. And I really love her makeup looks on red carpet and just in everyday life. So I use a combination of two products to achieve the eye makeup look. So I start off with a gel liner and I just put that across my lid. And then I use the color Busted from my Naked 2 palette. Just press it over that gel eyeliner. And then I use this brush, which is the Real Techniques Accent Brush. And kind of just smudge it out into this really smudgy kind of winged liner look and I've really been enjoying wearing it. So for my baths this month I have been using this Soella Soak Opera and I've used it so many times and I haven't even hit halfway through this giant bottle. It's really good. You can use it as a shower gel but I just like to pour a little bit in my bath because it makes lots of bubbles and it smells really nice and fresh and you just feel clean which you know is the goal of a bath. Feel clean so... <laughs> So my fashion favourite for this month has been my trusty leather jacket. It's finally gotten cold enough again to wear it, but not too cold that I need to layer heaps under it. So it's really just nice to throw on over even just a t-shirt or something. And I've really been enjoying wearing it. And I feel look, really badass. Yeah, I was just going to say, you look super badass. Yeah. <laughs> so that's good. As Tara mentioned, winter is coming. Therefore, I also have a jacket for my fashion favourite this month. It is this warehouse parka jacket. Yes. So this jacket is incredible. It's such great quality, like it's padded really well, so it's so warm. Um, I really love the gold detailing on it, and I've literally been wearing this every single day this week to uni, just because it's so cozy and it's just so good and it makes me feel really stylish and cool, so love that. If you want to see it in full action, check out um, last week's lookbook and it's in there. So my next favourite has been a favourite every month since I bought it basically but I thought I'd talk about it finally. Um, this is a little crystal necklace I got from Matchbox Studios in Wellington when I went and visited Sme and Charlie who have since moved to London um, but I got this and I think it's really pretty and the length just seems to go with so many outfits and it's simple but not too simple a bit and edgy. yeah a bit so cool. Hashtag I've been wearing this a lot. I feel like it looks like I'm copying you with all my favorites. You just did a jacket, I did a jacket, and now I'm about to do a necklace as well. But this is a little personalized necklace, and it says Ellen on it, and I've been wearing this every day this month, and I just think it's really cool, a nice personal touch, and it's silver, and I feel really glamorous. And Hey Claire has one that says Claire, so Ellen was just like, I look like Hey Claire. Hi hey girl. <laughs> So my book favourites for this month have been the Veronica Mars books which follow on from the movie that came out recently and they're written by Rob Thomas, the creator, so they're very in line with the movie and kind of carry on from there. Um, I won't say what they're about because if you haven't read them then spoiler, but they're really good if you like Veronica Mars, yeah. which you should because it's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. My book favourite for May has been Leaving Time by Jodie Pickett. It's a really good book. It's about a daughter trying to find her mother who went missing after there was an accident in their elephant sanctuary and someone got trampled. So it kind of has that murder aspect and then there's a psychic so it's got that kind of supernatural aspect. But the ending is the best part. It reminds me of Gone Girl and that it's got a massive plot twist that you're like, mind blown! And it's yeah. Like all her books. Yeah. You get to the end and you're like, what? This month I've been listening to Katy Perry's Prism album non-stop on my phone and it was triggered by getting this signed album from Katy Perry. It's her concert edition and it's got all these like beautiful quotes and like lyrics to her songs in it. We were lucky enough to get one of these after going to the Katy Perry Prism concert back in December and it was an amazing concert and we vlogged it so if you want to see that check out 
the video we will link it in the description box below my tv slash movie favorite for this month has been the tv series daredevil it's quite violent and it's been a long time since a violent tv show has kind of made me go oh 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 but that one definitely did. I really love how the show intertwines with all the other Marvel TV shows and movies. And if you've watched all of them, you kind of get like little, little extra tidbits that you're like, oh, I know what they're talking about. <laughs> Hashtag nerd. I've been watching Modern Family non-stop this month because I discovered that I had missed two seasons because for some reason they weren't like on TV and my TiVo didn't record them. So I was like, ah! And <laughs> true reaction. Uh, <laughs> we were actually like, how did I miss that? Oh, uh, but then I decision. I love that show. It's so hilarious. And I also really like how it's in 20 minute episodes if you like watch it online because that way it doesn't interrupt too much with my studying. Mm. Sounds so geeky. But if I watch a 40 minute. No, it's a good length for yeah, studying. Yeah, study so breaks. sometimes I'll be cheeky and do a double episode, but they're just the characters are so funny. And I had a little cry in one episode though when um, two of the characters got married and it was just so emotional and I was just like, and that is it for this month. If you are enjoying these monthly favorites, make sure you give it a thumbs up and we will see you in the next one. It in sounds like you say prison thing. when you say prison. prison. I sound like I say prison. 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 Why is our accent, why is our accent so weird? Well, that ear does not stick out as much. Oh, it's well Tara changes her air cut. I've also been re-watching Battlestar Galactica. You don't get two. Get out. Say that as well. Get out. What is that? No. You can oh. say, say that next month. Okay, well, because I haven't finished watching it. I like cheese. I killed my cactus this month. Not that one, but a different one. You kind of killed that one. Really brown. No, that was because it had trauma when I got it. It <laughs> did that when I got it. It's like, <laughs> it's like a little doink. <laughs>